Hi all, welcome to ESI Cloud Trainings. My name is Shali Nerella. Let's get started with Delbumi Atomsphere Basic Training Day 5 session. The agenda plan for today is we'll discuss about different profile types. This is a very important concept for anyone to understand the document flow. We'll then discuss about Atomsphere different editions available and we'll then discuss Boomi alerts. Right? So let's start with profile types. Boomi support five different profile types, flat file, XML, JSON, EDI and database. In our today's session, we'll discuss about flat file, XML and JSON. And in later sessions, we'll discuss about EDI and database. Right. So let's start with flat file profile. So we'll start with an example. So a flat file profile represents structured data sets that contain rows of data typically with one record per row and each row containing a series of fields known as elements. Right? The most common example of a flat file data set is a basic comma separated value file, which is a CSV file. The structure of elements in a flat file data set is defined as one of the two types. They are delimited and data position. So in delimited file, each element is separated by a specific character. So that's the delimiter. It can be comma, asterisk, or pipe, or any other character. And each element can be variable in length. So they are separated using a delimiter. Well, coming to data position, so here each element begins at a specific column position and has specific length. So that's a data position. So now we'll see how we import these different files using Boomi, right? So now let's go to Atomsphere and create our day five folder. So now let's create a component and we'll select profile. So profile is a component so that it can be reused across different processes. So here you'll see profile format, database, EDI, flat file, XML, and JSON. So go and select flat file. So now let's import delimited file and I'll name it as employee delimited and say create. So now as soon as you create a flat file profile, you'll see this structure record and elements. Right? So here in real time, what happens is uh, the client either provides you a sample file where you can import so if you have a sample file, you can import the file and a structure will be created out of it. Or you'll be provided with a mapping sheet where you'll be having all the elements in it. So using the mapping sheet, you'll be creating the elements manually. So for our example, let's see a mapping sheet. So here you'll see mapping sheet. So this is a basic mapping sheet created just for understanding. So here you'll see the source field destination field. So this is a one on one map. In general, the source field and destination field mapping will be provided. What all transformations have to be applied will be provided this way. And if it is a mandatory field, then required will be yes. So when they say required, yes, this is a mandatory field. Right. And the length of the element will be provided and if it is a date, the format is provided. So this information will be provided in the mapping sheet by the client. So now you'll create this structure by copying these elements and you'll create number of elements here. So say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll go and create add multiple elements and say seven elements and name them using these field names. Right. And when they say mandatory required, yes. In that case, you'll go and say mandatory check. So if the if this is mandatory element and if the value is not coming up to the destination, it will throw an error because it is a mandatory field. Right. And enforce unique. We'll see this with an example and we'll have field length validation. So you see here the length provided is three. So you'll have to say field length validation and say max length three. So when you do this, if the value coming in is not meeting this requirement, then it will fail that particular record. Right. 
and data type as well so with the character number date time so you can also select your format here so this format that is provided here in the mapping sheet can be provided either from the drop down here or you can write it down here so this way it works if you want to create manually a flat file profile so for now we'll delete this now because we have this file already with us we'll try importing the file right so it's a delimited file a simple delimited file we'll try importing now one basic interview or certification question is this so a flat file format is detected using number of columns or specified unique values so if it is a delimited file like this it should be number of columns and say import so here you'll see file type star delimiter which is not the case here our file type is comma so now say cancel go to options here so in options you see here use column headers so c of file has column headers here so you have to check this so you should say use column headers and then another interview or certification question is what is the file type so whether it is delimited or data position there are two types delimited or data position so our file is a delimited file and file delimiter can be any of these characters so now my file is comma delimited so i'll select comma delimited so we'll see all this text qualifies but now let's import it so you'll see your employee delimited So see here, the structure has been created. Right, say finish. So you'll see the structure has been imported using the sample file. Right. So this is a simple delimited file. So now we'll see about enforce unique now. See your enforce unique. So so now you'll see that this is created. So let me create one more so let me copy this back again into day five and i'll name this as enforce unique so what happens with enforce unique is that say now you'll see this file see here this particular record is being repeated right so now client comes up with a requirement saying that i don't want duplicate records in my file right i don't want duplicate records in my file in that case what am i going to do i will go here and say enforce unique for all fields right so now let's see this I'll create a simple process. I'll name this as test flat file enforce unique. So I'll name this like this. And this is with no data, starts with no data. I'll use a message shape here. Copy this. So message shape is used to transform the data. So whatever you are giving in the message shape will go as a document to the next shape. Now I'll use a map here. I'll say enforce unique map so now choose this flat file i'll select employee delimited and here i'll say employee delimited unique and for unique so see here this is done now let's do vomi suggest say next 
this is done.